Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Isabel. Right now on Mahina, it's 11.07 a.m. on Thursday, October 1st, 2020. It's official! I just love October. Well, actually, I just love Halloween. Costumes, candy, and best of all, pumpkins! Oh my god, Isabel. Same. So much same. Pumpkins aren't just for eating, of course. You can also carve them out to make lovely little lanterns. Or you could do both. I'm literally on my second Costco pumpkin pie, which for those of you that have access to Costco, they're out. They've been out for about a month now. Go get you some. You can even use pumpkins for other kinds of DIY projects. I want all the projects. I've heard that Nook's Cranny and Leaf are now selling pumpkin starts. I hope everyone starts growing them. Oh, I will. Wouldn't it be wonderful to see pumpkins spread up in every little corner of Mahina? Don't tempt me. I might do it. Nook's Cranny will also be selling candy. You'll want to have plenty to share on Halloween night. Okay. I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone's Halloween costumes. Don't forget to have all of your silly and scary outfits and accessories ready before the big event starts. Now for additional announcements. Today we have a visitor staying at the campsite. Welcome, visitor! I hope the entire island joins me in giving our guest a warm welcome. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. Thank you, Isabel, for that amazing update. Hello, Internet World and beyond. My name is Zaki Insane, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's October 1st, and a beautiful October morning indeed. It's my favorite month of the year. And I mean that seriously. Not my birthday month, not December. My favorite month of the year is October, because it is finally Halloween season. Though I guess technically, for me, every day is Halloween. But, semantics. We'll have to explore and see what's going on. And that's my whole goal for today, is we're gonna explore, see what's going on in the new update, because the update literally happened today. Uh, the 1st of October starts all the pumpkin festivities, and I know that um, towards the end of the month, our wonderful Halloween czar will be visiting. I didn't know... Oh, label. Duh. <laughs> Gonzo. Listen up, Zeki. Making easy money sounds good, right? Well, it's never that easy. Some folks that look like they're just sailing through life might be working real hard behind the scenes. No shortcuts, kiddo. Not joking. Gonzo. Alright then. <gasps> Nintendo! Nintendo sent us a letter. Dear Zaki, thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a present to show our appreciation. Please keep an eye out for future updates as well from Nintendo. Thank you, Nintendo. Thank you so much. We're actually just gonna delete that. We don't need to keep that. And we got a present from Mom! Hi, Mom! My dear Zaki, with apple stuffed cheeks, I take long walks and read long books. I take long naps in long pajamas. This time of year is wonderful but far too short. Enjoy that while it lasts, Mom. Mom knows me so well. Thanks, Mom. I agree wholeheartedly. Let's read this one first. Dear Zaki, all new body paint and eye color options are available at Nook Miles Redemption items at the Nook Shop and Resident Services. We hope you enjoy making all kinds of fun new looks for your next costume party. Ooh, we'll have to check those out. And Jack. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, it's Jack! To my future loyal minions! I'll be creeping through on October 31st for Halloween, my dear pumpkins. Until then, contemplate this portrait of yours truly, and get to work gathering lots of candy, as all good minions should. Jack, the reigning czar of Halloween. I think this means we get a poster of him. I love his card, look at this. I want this card forever. Can this just be my permanent letter card that I send to everyone? Look how beautiful it is. He's even got my moon in the corner. 
It just needs a face, and it's perfect. I love it. Alright. Let's open up our multitude of presents. Taylor's tickets. That's right, I bought a Switch. This is our first actual present. I think this is the one from Nintendo? Rincon. Oh, as in the um the uh, Switch Fit game? I can't think of the name right now. Interesting. It's this one. This is Mom's Tea Cozy. Okay, cool. And then this, of course, is Jack's Portrait, which I've heard looks really cool. And there he is. Perfect. Haha! -ha. I've heard. Let's see if this is true. It does glow in the dark. It's kind of hard to tell now because it's daytime. Let me see if I can turn that light off. Maybe if it'll help. Kind of, sort of. It's still kind of bright. It's daytime. But this glows in the dark. As you can see, the faces are kind of blinking. So that's super cool. I'm gonna go craft myself a shovel real quick, and then we will head out and explore my new island as well as do some of my daily chores. Alright, shovel is crafted. Ooh, weeds. Let's go get that golden spot first really quick. As you can see, much has changed. First of all, we have a new neighbor. It's Wolfgang! Morning! Best time to go for a walk, right? What is the latest, my friend? Every day I take a stroll around here, so I know this island better than most. So yeah, Wolfgang moved in. Actually, Wolfgang came and visited me. Oh, are you guys gonna talk? Nope. Okay. Wolfgang came and visited me at the campsite, and I really like Wolfgang. He was one of my first characters I got playing, um... New Leaf. And so I liked his personality liked having him around, so I wanted him to stay. Unfortunately, that meant someone had to leave, and that someone was um, Biff. So Biff is gone, Biff has moved out, but instead now we have Wolfgang. Let's go pop in on our friend Wendy. I think this is Wendy. Ooh, and Wendy's crafting. What you making, friend? Oh my gosh, fine. I should have read the instructions. Whatever. Ugh. Oh, what's up, Zacky? What are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm making a spooky scarecrow. Ooh. I dreamt the idea when I fell asleep watching Maglevs in, Lun in Love. It's about trains. In love. One of them. Hang on. Not important. It doesn't matter if Maglev Mike took their relationship off the rails. Ha ha ha. Train humor. Because I'm building a thing. Hey, Zaki, do you want to know how to make a spooky scarecrow too? Do I ever? Yes, please. I'm going to be the first... Pop star slash fashion designer slash DIY guru. Sure. I won't spoil your dreams, Wendy. So I'll write it down so I'll write it down all my recipes. Here I go. Or here you go. Here I go. Here you go. Hooray! That project can be customized too. You'll just need a few pumpkins of the right color. Ops. If you don't have a different colored pumpkin, just grow a ton of those bad boys. You might be surprised. All right, cool. So we got our first recipe of October. A spooky scarecrow. We can't build it yet, but I kind of want to see what that rest, what it looks like. Oh, how cute. All right, so fairly simple. Three orange pumpkins and some wood. We'll definitely have to make that. Bye, Wendy. Thanks.
Alright, let's go back to the main part of the island. Because I think there's some fossils over here. So yeah, it's been a busy time around here. Oh, Leaf's here. I'll have to buy some pumpkins for him later. But it's been busy over here. I've been making lots of stuff. First of all, being pathways. Made lots of paths lately. And if you look at the map here... There's paths to pretty much everything now. There's paths to almost everyone's houses. There's interconnection down here at the um, resident services and all the stores. There's a full path to Blather's place. The only thing that doesn't quite have a path yet is Secret Beach. And that's because I'm still working on that. I kind of haven't found the right pathway for Secret Beach yet. But as of right now, everything else is connected. I've managed to stay to my original intention of maintaining the integrity of the island. The only thing that has really, really changed is I took a whole lake and made it into Crescent Lake in a video prior. I'll leave a link to that video below. But yeah, I felt like our island's name is Mahina. We have to have a moon somewhere. So, Crescent Moon Lake. Let's see, is Gonzo in his house? I'll visit him later. So, let's get our fossil hunting out of the way to start. I also should probably scout out a spot for a pumpkin patch, since that seems to be important. I think I have an idea. I think I already know what fencing I want to use. I'll have to double check and see if it'll work. Because I want a big pumpkin patch. A huge one. Because I want to make all the pumpkin things. And I feel like I'm going to need a lot of pumpkins. And therefore a giant pumpkin patch. To make all of the pumpkin things. Oh hey look! The decorations changed. It's not just fall and mushrooms, it's now got spooky things, and the pumpkins have faces now, and there's flowers in the middle of the pathway. Let's fix this. This is gonna bug me. Goodbye. We're going to put you here. There we go. Oh, Tank's home. I wonder if he got sick again. Let's find out. Something I learned about Tank, just watching him walk around, is he really likes flowers. Good morning, my dude. My casa is your casa, as I believe the saying goes. <laughs> you're not wrong, you're just, um, partially incorrect in your verbiage. Mi casa es... Tsukasa. You see that someone set, over, set up over the campsite, punk? <laughs> Gotta say, they've got fine taste to visit here. Maybe I ought to swing by and introduce myself. You would be the closest one to them right now. Why don't we go do that too? Let's go swing by and see who's at the campsite today. It's just down the road here. See if it says campsite. Oh, just says campsite. Oh, let's see who's giving us a visit. I have no idea who it could be. None whatsoever. Hello! Hey, thanks for stopping by. So, is everyone here like super friendly? I kind of came out here on a lark, but this place seriously rocks. I'm in love, room. You guys hear the song? It's bubblegum KK. Ooh, I really like it in its uh, CD form. <laughs> Oh, and now it's over. All right, back to work. The fossils ain't gonna hunt themselves. 
And I think I just found both of them. There's one right here. I think I saw the other one. Yep, there it is, right there. I need to put another bridge here, too. That's not the tool I want. This one. Alright. We've got all four fossils. That means now we can pay Blathers a visit. And then we can get into what I really wanted to explore today. Which is the... Um, New additions to the game, a little bit more in-depth. You can buy some pumpkins, make a pumpkin patch, and really get in the spirit of Halloween. In October, just as a whole. Blathers, wake up! Blathers! Blathers, 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 Blathers! Good morning! How can you be of service? My friend. My dear owly friend. I have your favorite. I have some fossils for you to assess. Four, just as usual, my good man. Please, examine to your heart's content. Ah, I see. More f fossils that we already have. That's okay. Consider it a donation to the taxes of Mahina. They will be put to good use. In my wallet. Alright, nothing new there. I should probably take a little trip through the fossil area of the museum because I think... I'm not positive, but I think I might be close to being done with the fossils. I have to double check. At any rate, we've got things to sell now. Quite a lot of things, actually. So let's go into the store and see what's new. Hello, Timmy and Tommy. Wow, look at that thing. That looks festive. But first, we need to make a sale. Ten thousand nine hundred ninety seven bells. I'll take it, Timmy. Thank you very much. All right, first things first. I want this spooky candy set. I'll buy it. 3,500 bells, that's nothing. Chump change. Totally worth it. What do we have in the cabinet today? Alright, I'm gonna get a bunch of these. I should let you know that these are a limited time item available only during October. October! Because we expect high demands for this seasonal item, sales are limited to just one per customer per day. Okay. I will buy. Yes, thank you very much. So you can only buy one a day. So as a person who only has one character, I will, by the time Halloween rolls around, have 31 pieces of candy. I wonder what that will get me. Pumpkin starts. You can harvest these pumpkin starts a few days after you plant them. And they'll grow all by themselves, but you'll get a better harvest if you water them daily. Pumpkins grow in four colors, orange, green, yellow, and white. You won't know what color you're going to get until they start growing. It makes harvest time a real treat. I can sell these in singles or in bulk. What would you like? <gasps> bulk. More pumpkin starts. Bulk. 
We'll leave that there for now because I know Leaf's here and I wonder if his will be cheaper. We'll find out here in a second. It's cheaper. It's way cheaper. So we'll buy a couple of these in bulk. And by a couple, I mean a lot. More. 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 Give me all the pumpkins. I think that's sufficient for now. Alright. I got our pumpkins. Let's go peek in here really quick, see if there's anything cool. Hello, Tom. Hello, Isabel. Hard at work today, I see. Huh, apparently I missed a day somewhere. Interesting. Let's redeem some Nook Mouse first. Ooh, we do have new things. What is this? Body paint costume tips. Yes, please. Do I get to paint myself funny colors now? Like I'm a sim? Well, good. I'm glad it makes sense. That wasn't the only thing that was there, though. There was also this. Exploring new eye colors. Exploring new eye colors sounds fun. We'll have to play with that later. Let's go down to Abel Sisters next. I've got a couple outfits from them. I'll probably pick from that for my costume, but we'll have to see. Hello, Mabel. Hello, Sable. You look busy. I'll let you be for now. But let's go in the dressing room and see what's good. I already see cat ears. And of course, I've got my Taylor's tickets. Let's see, color block dress shirt. Thief's costume. Label skirt. Long skirt, slacks, wide chino pants. Wrestling singlet, that's a new one. Got a fancy kimono. Baseball hats. Let's see if we can guess who these are supposed to be. That's obviously the Marlins. <laughs> that looks like the Tigers, maybe? That one kind of looks like a minor league team. I'm not sure what that one really looks like. Kind of looks like a Frosty Bear. You know, there's probably a minor league team that has a Frosty Bear logo. Cincinnati Twins is this one over here, and then that one right there is supposed to be the Red Sox, I believe. Kind of emulating the Red Sox. So there we go. None of which are my team. Flashy pointy ears animal hat. It's kind of cute. Will I ever wear it, though? I like how they jiggle. Maybe I will wear it. I don't know. We'll see how I feel when I'm done. This is the only thing I would actually buy. Now I'm trying to decide which color to get. I think I'm going to go with green and black. 
because as cute as the white and blue one is, it's not really my style, and I'm not a big fan of the other neon ones that are sitting there. So yeah, we'll go with this, and we'll use our tailor ticket, because why spend money? Do you want to wear what you picked out? No thanks, we'll send it to the wardrobe, because I kind of want to pick out a costume every day I play now in honor of October. We'll pick that out at the end of the video. And then the next time I make a video with Animal Crossing, whether that's a stream or a recorded video like this, I'll keep that outfit on. All right, so we got pumpkins. We've got some stuff to put away and we've got some stuff to get and we got our piece of candy for the day. That's most of our daily chores taken care of. All right, I put a bunch of stuff away and I actually went and got some supplies so we can work on our pumpkin patch. So first things first, we gotta do, because it's only appropriate, we gotta change our outfit to construction, because safety first when creating a pumpkin patch. Also, as you can see, my construction outfit has upgraded and changed. Looking stylish. So I think, I think I want to put my pumpkin patch here. Which actually means I think I need to chop down some trees. Which means I need my axe. Which I need to go get. Yes, yes, hi, hello, I have returned. With, guess what? My axe. Alright, let's go ahead and take out at least these two trees that are here. Perfect, okay, I think this is a pretty good spot for planting pumpkins. We need a very specific tool in order to make this wonderful pumpkin patch. And that is we need specialty ground. So let's trade this helmet for this helmet. Perfect. All right, I think I want dark dirt for this. And let's map out how big we want this today. Like I said before, I want it pretty big. This might take me a minute. I think that's a decent enough pumpkin patch. Now we need to create the fences that are gonna go around this bad boy. So let's get to making those. I think I have enough supplies for the type I want. Let's see, we're gonna do some of these. As much as I'd like my pumpkin patch to be permanent, I don't know that it will be. So we'll craft a couple of these, let's see. 10 pockets. Let's do this one for now. We'll work with that 10 so far. Ooh, okay. Slight problem. We have run into a snag. I made this a little bit too wide, so let's see if we can make this smaller. And we might have a problem here, so we might be adding some land here to the river just to make this work. And we are done for now. Okay, it's not the most gorgeous fence in the world, but for what we need it to do today, it will work. So we will go ahead and turn off this construction. Cool. Alright, so now what we need to do is we need to start planting some pumpkins. And I think the easiest way to do this, to make sure it goes where I want it to, is to get in, is to do this. I'm gonna dig some holes. Alright, so we got a decent amount here. That looks good. Let's go ahead and get to planting. Oh no! Wait, why? No. 
It's not there. I want you to go in the hole. There we go. Alright, all my pumpkins are planted. Now it's time to water them. It says it takes them, I think, a couple days to grow and you want to water them constantly so that you get a good yield in your pumpkin crop. Lovely pumpkin patches looking good. Now we are well on our way to making some Halloween decorations. I still have lots of pumpkin patch starts to spare, so I might build another one somewhere else. We'll see. Let's go ahead and change out of this. All right, I think the last thing I want to do for today is I want to, oh, sorry, Agnes. Better luck next time. The last thing I want to do for today is I want to try and create my first Halloween outfit for the month. Now this year, I don't really get to celebrate Halloween in the normal sense because a friend of mine is getting married and because of the whole um, happenings going on this year their wedding got pushed from April to October and they happen to be getting married on Halloween which is really exciting because I'm gonna have a lot of fun but that also means we're not getting to celebrate Halloween in the usual fashion so contractually obligated roommate and I aren't decorating I don't think this year unfortunately so I think I'll celebrate Halloween in here. That's why I want to make all the Halloween decorations in like triplicate because I want to really go all out here in Animal Crossing. And I think the best way to get in the mood is to go ahead and play dress up. So let's design our first Halloween costume. Let's see what we have here in the closet. I have quite a few things now that I've started to collect. I think we should try and do something with the cat ears maybe? I have cat ears and a dog nose. That doesn't really go very well together. Not loving this so far. Let's do... Here, let's go back. Let's build this from the ground up. So this is my tops. Any top I like so far. Graduation gown? Sure, we can start like this. Let's make a wizard costume. So there's our top. I changed my mind. We're going to do... Sort of a more punk dress. So we're going to wear the punk dress, obviously. And we're going to pair that with punk princess, maybe? I don't know if I like that. We'll stick with it for now, though. Um, we're going to do one of these, because it's a um, sign of the times. I think I'm going to do boots, but we'll throw on these long socks just to be safe. And... Yeah, definitely going to do boots. Alright, and let's see. Will this clash with the outfit? Yeah, don't like that. Alright, are we going with Princess, Princess Goth for our first outfit? I think we are. Not a bad look, I don't think. Looking rather cute. Alright, so this is our outfit. Now let's see what new styles came with those things that we downloaded today. Change it up. Sk 
skin tone. Whoa, look at the skin tones there are now. You can be pale as a ghost. Green, like Alphaba. Blue, or purple. I kind of like the way green looks with this. Do you know what I mean? I think I'm going to do green, and I might actually take the tiara and the mask off, just because I'm liking the Alphaba vibe we're getting. Ooh, look at the eye colors you can play with now. <laughs> Let's do gray eyes. Well, no, I like the gray better. Let's do gray eyes to kind of match the dress, and I think we'll stick with that. So here we go, here's the final look. This is my punk alphabet look. I kinda like how it looks. Not a bad look at all. I definitely need to create some more costumes, which means I need to do some more shopping. But I'm sure there'll be plenty more to be had as October goes on. But I think that will do it for us today. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. I will be streaming tomorrow on my Twitch channel. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to play yet. Um, I did want to kind of play some more kind of creepy Halloween-esque games for the month of October and do a little bit more Animal Crossing as things get spookier and spookier. So uh, yeah, definitely go check that out um, on Twitch. I'd love to have you join me tomorrow just to kind of relax and play some Halloween-ish themed games. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I will see everyone in the next one. So long!